Unraveling the Mystery, Mad as a Cut Snake. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore an intriguing phrase that might have puzzled many of you. Mad as a cut snake. This expression is a fantastic example of English idioms that paint vivid pictures with words. So, buckle up as we unravel the mystery behind this colorful expression and how you can use it in your daily conversations. The phrase, mad as a cut snake is a quintessentially Australian idiom used to describe someone who is extremely angry or behaving in a wildly irrational manner. But why a cut snake? You might wonder. Historically, this expression draws on the imagery of a snake's unpredictable and aggressive behavior when harmed. It's a metaphor that vividly captures the essence of extreme anger or madness without literally referring to the animal itself. While the exact origins of this phrase are a bit murky, it's deeply rooted in Australian English and speaks volumes about the country's knack for colorful and expressive language. Mad as a cut snake is often used in informal contexts, particularly in spoken English. It's a phrase that might pop up in personal conversations, storytelling, or even in the media, adding a touch of Aussie flair to the dialogue. To help you grasp how to use mad as a cut snake in real life situations, let's look at a few examples. After hearing the news, he was as mad as a cut snake. You should have seen her, she was mad as a cut snake when she found out. Trying to argue with him when he's as mad as a cut snake is impossible. These examples show that the phrase can be used to describe intense reactions to situations, emphasizing the person's emotional state. There you have it, folks. Mad as a cut snake is more than just an odd collection of words. It's a vibrant expression that adds depth and character to the English language. By understanding and using such idioms, you can enrich your vocabulary and make your conversations more engaging and colorful. We hope you found this video enlightening and that you're now a bit more curious about the wonderful world of English idioms. Thank you for watching and we can't wait to see you in our next video.